Good morning, good morning. So I promised a friend I would actually share it. I'm doing a study, really a personal study on the life of Daniel, really the book of Daniel. Most of us know some highlights from Daniel. We know the story of Daniel fasting or refusing to eat the king's food. We know the story of Daniel uh, insisting on praying despite the command or law to only pray to the king. And of course, we know the story from Daniel of the three Hebrew boys who, three Hebrew young men who are thrown into the fiery furnace. But there's more to Daniel than those three great historical stories. Yes, Daniel is in large part biography and prophecy, but it's also, in summary, the picture of a life completely devoted to God. Daniel teaches us what life is, how life is lived, and how God responds to a life that's completely devoted to him. So often we think a life devoted to him is problem free. Daniel's life was not problem free. In fact, he had a lot of struggles, some that we often overlook. Daniel chapter 9, we see him greatly troubled and frustrated because he was reading Jeremiah and Jeremiah prophesied that after 70 years he his people would be rescued he was saying God where are you there's so much to the book of Daniel let me give you a summary high level summary here it is Daniel teaches us first devotion what it is to keep the faith to be faithful to God in season and out of season faithfulness to God looks like two major things you ready it looks like integrity and longevity it looks like consistently doing the right thing, even when the right things don't seem to be happening. It looks like getting up every day with excitement, with boredom, with health, with sickness, in season and out of season, and remembering that you are committed to God. So first it's about our faithfulness. It's about our faithfulness. But not only is it about our faithfulness, it's also, and maybe more so, about God's faithfulness. It's awesome to see how faithful God is throughout the life of Daniel. Remember, Daniel served under five kings. He literally served until he was an aged, old, senior, senior man. And in all that, God was absolutely faithful. So he could stand in the lion's den and not be fretful and even go to sleep because he knew the faithfulness of God. God is so faithful. In fact, one of my favorite verses in the Bible comes from Timothy. It says, even when we are faithless, God is faithful. God cannot deny himself. God is so faithful. He's more faithful than we can understand or imagine. He's faithful in season and out of season. There's no circumstances that can cause God to be unfaithful. He can't do it. He's God. He's faithful. His very nature is faithful. Like the seasons, like the sun, it cannot be stopped. God is that faithful. Then lastly, and almost paradoxical, we talked about God's faithfulness. We talked about our faithfulness in reverse. But Daniel's also about God's favor, God's favor. It is this selection, almost unfair, but it's paradoxical because while God chooses to show us favor, the Bible also teaches us that there are things that we can do to live in or to experience God's favor at its fullest level. Uh, Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor with the Lord. So it suggests to us that there's a certain lifestyle, in that case, godly marriage, that causes God to look favorably, more favorable on us. But then there's also some aspect of favor that we can't fully earn or explain. As I look at in this everyday world, I look at the life of Allen Iverson. Here he is getting ready to turn 50, right? And he's getting ready to get a $50 million dollar reward from work he did years ago. If you watch his life, you see that his life has been favored. I mean, he was sentenced to prison and the governor decided that 
he definitely des- didn't deserve that punishment, and he um, took off the the crime. He 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 waived the the crime. His life is a life of favor, not just with talent, but just God stepping in in various ways. Did he earn it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. But it's obvious that he's been favored, and you can see the same on your life and other lives that just God just blessed in ways that you couldn't have earned. That's the favor of God. So yes, paradoxically, we can do things to encourage God's favor, faithfulness, but also God, despite of our faithfulness, is faithful and causes us to be favored. Man, I'll finish this another time. I'm at work. Be encouraged. God bless. Have a great day.